know what a kilometer is, but what I do know is that I got more American guns to share with you guys. Starting with the one and only M4A1. Now for our specific M4A1 build, I'll be trying to follow my airsoft replica right here. This is what most default M4A1s will look like. So for our barrel, we'll go ahead and choose the 14 inch carbine shroud. This looks the most similar to the one in my picture. For the stock, I'll choose the torrent span 9. Again, it looks the most similar. And you can already see the whole thing looks very close. Anyway, for the magazine, I'll choose the 45 round mag because I think the texture of it seems more similar to mine. And the last two attachments are free for you to choose. Alright, here we have our M4A1. This is one of my favorite rifles ever. I know the recoil control is not the best in this game, but you know, it's still fun to use. Anyway, it's time to spread some freedom. Freedom! <laughs> ah, yeah! Got him. Red wine blue, baby, red wine blue. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Our next American gun will be the Mossberg, specifically one of those Breacher models with pistol grips. Now I feel weird saying the name Bryson 800 because I know someone with that name, but anyways, we'll choose the stockless pistol grip. For the guard, I'll choose the Demo X50 for a better chambering speed. For the muzzle, I'm going to choose this choke like I do with every other shotgun. It provides the best spread and hipfire stats. For the laser, I'll choose the Stubble Tack. And I don't feel like I need to add a last attachment. But you can choose them fire bullets if you want. So here we have our Mossberg shotgun. Now I'm pretty sure these breacher pistol grip models are specifically designed to like breach down doors or something. However, the doors we'll be breaching today will move around and try to shoot back. Kapow! Kapow! <laughs> oh my god! Oh <laughs> Boom! Oh, I love me a good old pump shotgun. Get out! Boom! Ooh, double kill! Triple kill! Boom! Bah! Ah! Our next gun on the list is the Chris Vector, a fast-firing submachine gun chambered in 45 ACP. To recreate it, we'll select the Fennec 45. So for the barrel, I want to add one of those integrated suppressor looking ones. So I'll be choosing the Fennec Covered Force. For the under barrel, I'm going to choose a nice looking vertical grip that also helps with our recoil, such as the Hex 40. For the magazine, I'll choose the Drum Mag because this thing fires really fast, as I mentioned earlier. For the stock, I'll choose the F attack X command because it gives us a little bit more recoil control. And lastly, I'll choose the Fennec Stippled Grip for even more recoil control. So here we got our Chris Vector. Now as I mentioned earlier, this thing fires really fast, so uh, here's a little demonstration. And now time to test this out in a match. Ah! I don't know, I thought that screaming matched this gun's vibe. Grrr oh crap! God's caliber, baby! Okay, enough weird noises, let's move on to the next gun. Our next gun is the one and only 1911, or at least a modernized version of it. Now, if this gun looks familiar to you, it's because you probably watched John Wick. Anyways, for the barrel, I would choose either the Trope H or the SA Longfire. For the rare grip, I would choose either the Razor Leaf for it to look more like a wooden color, maybe, or the Magwell for better reload speed. For the ammunition, I'll choose High Grain for better bullet velocity, blah, 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 whatever. For the trigger action, I'll choose the Rapid 30 for better firing. And the last attachment is up to you, but I'll choose an optic. Anyway, here we have our Staccato 2011. And I'm pretty sure there's like a lot of videos made on this gun and caught. And now it's time to try this out for ourselves. Like, get out of here. <laughs> oh, what? 1911 is better than the clock! Because the 1911 helped America win both world wars or something. Oh yeah, I actually shot the 1911 in real life once. It was pretty fun, I suppose. Anyways, let's move on to the next gun. Our last gun will be the Tommy gun. 
or at least kind of. I'll show you. So we're gonna choose the Tech 9 here. For the battle, I'm gonna be choosing the Super Attack. As you can see, it adds a lot of length to it and also increases our stats here. For the stock, I'll choose the Heist LW. I think this stock matches the Wooden Tommy stock the most, I guess. For the magazine, we obviously gotta put the Drum Mag on. For the Under Barrel, I'll be using this one right here. Because you can see, it actually looks like the Tommy Gun Grip. And the last attachment is up to you. I'll choose this. All right, you see the similarities? Now, I know there's no wood on the Tech 9, but you know, the shape of it looks kind of similar. I mean, there's a blueprint that adds wooden textures to this build, but I don't want to buy it. Anyway, here we have our Tommy Gun Tech 9 Hybrid. So the Tech 9 in this game is actually really underrated. It has very good fire rate and recoil control. Not to mention that this is a secondary. <laughs> All right, time to rattle them, boys. Take this, you no good fool. <laughs> Why I wanna ah, shoot the plane down, shoot the plane down. Ah, hip fire, hip fire, hip fire. Ah. This thing's nice with hip fire, actually. Oh, get out of here. Ah. Rattle him. Oh yeah, did I mention this was the gun Joseph Joestar used in part 2 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Or maybe you already realized that, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please click here for other videos. Oh, and also subscribe if you want me to buy Black Ops 6. <laughs> or, or maybe I'll probably just wait for like, a sale or something. Yeah, goodbye.